Oh, hey there guys, and welcome back to Tech Time with Jay. I'm Jay Corbett, and today I hope you guys are getting ready for Pokemon Go because it's gonna be coming out sometime in November. I believe it's going to be November, like, in the middle of it. I'll keep you guys posted in the next Tech Time. However, I'm gonna get you guys a game that is similar to Pokemon Go. The game is called Ingress. So let's check out this game, shall we? Ingress transforms the real world into the landscape for a global game of mystery, intrigue, and competition. You choose a side. The enlightened side seeks to embrace the power that energy may bestow upon us, while the resistance struggle to defend and protect what's left of our humanity. The world is the game. You move through the real world using your device and the Ingress app to discover and tap sources of the mysterious energy. You acquire objects to aid in your quest, you deploy tech to capture territory, and you ally with other players to advance the cause of the Enlightened or the Resistance. The struggle is being played out globally. You track the progress of other players around the world, you plan your next steps and communicate with others using an intelligence app. The struggle to save the planet spans the entire world. Groups of people acting together can be more effective than individuals acting alone. Cooperation across neighborhoods, cities, and countries will be needed to achieve the ultimate victory. Well guys, that is Ingress for you in a nutshell. Ingress is basically Pokemon Go before Pokemon Go comes out. It encourages its users to go out and explore areas to be able to obtain these mysterious energy that is being scattered all over the world. If you're able to get this app, which is free by the way on iOS and Android, you should put it on your phone and you should go and explore the entire world. Well, before Pokemon Go comes out, because once that comes out, then you're gonna be exploring. But I digress. This uh, app, Ingress, is one of a kind and you should actually give it a try. Well that's it for Tech Time with Jay this week. I'll catch you guys next week.